Another podcast by the Burning Donuts. Known on police record as a brony slash anthropologist, the Burning Donut is really Aaron Brink. His dual identity known by anyone who checks out his online galleries. And now, to protect freedom of speech and to produce some kick-ass artwork, rides the Burning Donut. Hey everyone, this is the Burning Donut reporting as live as possible in recorded format. And today I have my guests. Fine. Wait, hey, damn it. Yeah. Yeah, it's close. Woo! I'm Louie. Hey, Louie again. Alright, so, as most people are aware, we have, uh, we have witnessed four seasons of My Little Ponies. And the fourth season has come to a final oh, and exciting... I, I, I forgot to watch season one. You son of a bitch! Was I supposed to? No. Because we're talking about season four here. Oh, uh, okay. I, I guess I guess I could have figured that out by the title of this, of this uh, video. This is season four that we're speaking of. Yes. Well, I couldn't figure that out because I totally can't read the title of the episode. <laughs> Well, I know you think we're like you know we're like doing video or something. I don't fucking we're nowhere near that professional. Anyways, so let's go. Let's discuss as a whole season four of My Little Ponies. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it shit? Is it like absolutely the worst fucking thing you've ever seen? Either way, let's, let's just let's, let's just All get of started. The above. Let's just get started. Okay. Episode one. Episode one slash two, basically. Episode one slash two puts the title in sparkle part one two. What'd you guys think? I enjoyed the tentacle scenes. Oh my god, the fucking tentacles. You had to go there. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. First of all, they were roots. Oh, they were yeah, just very true. spiky roots. Spiky right. roots that would shred your flesh, yeah. I, I've seen enough hentai to know how these things work. Yeah. You see, you watch hentai? That's gross. Who doesn't? Anyway. Moving <laughs> uh, <laughs> on. Uh, uh, um, so, so, Discord yeah. sowed the seeds of discontent. <laughs> well, Spoiler. Well, I, I actually kind of like Discord in like this episode. It was like, because he, like he's, like, he's like being helpful but still being like an asshole at the same time. That's yeah, Discord. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, this season was like Discord heavy, you know. Yeah, because because it's kind of like it's it's kind of like them pandering to the fans, you know. They're all like, <laughs> "Oh, that the fans like Discord. Hey, I know. Let's put Discord in a bunch of episodes." <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, they were just doing that for money. Okay. Because, you know, so much Discord merchandise, not... Oh, yeah, totally, totally. I mean, he is, like, the best-selling figure right now. <laughs> not he really, I'm just totally released... making that shit up. I'm just, like, it's he, a totally He would fake. be if they actually released toys of him. True. Can we talk about True. the actual episode? All right, all right. Twilight drinks a mysterious-looking liquid to remember AKA things. A mysterious or... white liquid. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. Seaman. Yes, yeah, so of course, we all know yeah. that no one has made that joke before. No, no, I'm the first. Oh, obviously. yeah, totally. So original. Right. Anyways, um... Interceptor thing. I, 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 so I, I, I like, like how uh, the drink, quote-unquote, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> um, uh, I allowed her to just basically go kind of back in time, but in vision form, which yeah. is actually pretty cool. Well, one of the interesting things about season four was it had such a build up before it because there was the the leaked storyboards and stuff, and like oh, yeah. so many people were like freaking out about oh, <laughs> about like Prince about Nightmare Moon returning and things like that, and it's like you know if you listen to the which dialogue, would, uh, it's like, which would have made a lot more better. Well, no, I mean you know it was like I thought it worked the way it did, you know it was yeah. like it kind of made a bit more sense and stuff like that, and like. You know, it was it, it was ultimately like the flat like, like there was a lot of theories about what was going to happen. There was like you know theories about like weird stories of, of uh, but like when you listen to the dialogue, where it's like there can only be one princess, like mathematically speaking. You know, it was like between Celestia, uh, Cadence, 
and uh, the the and Una, and it, it's like she's like there can only be one, and they're like oh, but isn't there like four of them now? I'm confused. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, this is a thousand years ago, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but then, like, it actually turned out to be the uh, the time uh, the, the the not, not time travel, but like the you know kind of like quantum uh, past here. past experience. Yeah. As we should call it now. Uh, no, no, no. We should call it quantum leap. Fine. Oh, fine. Then. That, that's terrible, but okay. Are are, no, are do you guys even shit. know that reference? Are are you old? Uh, uh, quantum, quantum leap. leap? I've uh, almost I, every episode uh... of quantum leap. Almost every episode. Definitely uh, the no. entire first three seasons. Uh, I've definitely seen the very last episode, etc. Oh, but okay. anyway, we're talking about ponies, though. All right. Okay. So next episode on the list is Castlemania. The worst episode ever. Really? No, I actually quite enjoyed this episode. I love this episode. I know. I know. I love it. A lot of people I... complain about the episode, but it's like honestly, I thought it was like really great. It had, I mean, sure, it didn't make a whole lot of sense of just everyone just kind of like magically going to the same place at the same time, but it kind of yeah. made sense sort of because like you know the 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 castle was like fresh on their minds, so they're kind of made sense that they all started thinking about it at the same time, you know, and like, you know, the, it's yeah. well, I guess what really intrigued me about this episode was the fact that, you know, the little three different, you know, perspectives of the story of the castle and stuff. Oh yeah, that was great. You know, it was, yeah, learning, it was learning about the castle from three different perspectives. Well, it, one of the things I thought was fantastic was like almost all the interactions between Rainbow Dash and Applejack. And, and, and then when you realize that they're both voiced by the same person, <laughs> you're like, yeah. oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I, 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 and, and and it was so funny because, like, the humor in the episode was basically – there was so many times where, like, characters were, like, getting scared out of their minds and nothing was really happening. <laughs> yeah. You know. I guess, I, guess, I guess the only bad thing I could say about this episode was most likely the ending, which – we no one really knows what the fuck that is. Well, yeah, I have to admit, where it's all where Pinkie Pie is all like, "Hey, did you know I can play the organ?" <laughs> I didn't either. Lol, lol, lol. Not that you know the mysterious <laughs> shadow figure. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, um, is this so we nice? We still don't know that fucking. No shadow. one knows it is like. Will it will it return? Is it just a stupid ending gag? Like, what the yeah, fuck is it? it? Isn't it so it, nice to know that the season is now over? There was nothing addressing it. Yeah, I feel fulfilled. I, I bet you like five bucks. Like in one of the in one of the episodes, that little shadow figure is like somewhere in the background. Maybe maybe, maybe that tone. strange figure was slender in the you know all Apple, Apple family Apple family uh, episode. Yeah, I think that's the olden. It's, it's slender. That yeah. the shadow figure is slender. Okay. Uh, whatever. All right. Next episode is oh god. Dare is it daring don't? Yeah. Daring daring don't. What did, I got it right. What did you guys was, think? I thought it was an okay episode. I liked to see the return of the Boopy Hoop, but it was gold this time. <laughs> I I I like I like the return of Indiana Jones in this in this one. The thing, yeah, I yeah. there was so much good about this episode, but the one thing that's bad about it <laughs> is so <sighs> glaringly bad. Yeah. It's I know what like, you mean. It's, it's just like, ugh! Okay, because the, the story is basically... Oh, jeez, I hate... I, I mean... Well, oh, I my mean, God, stupid Skype. You know. I know, I know, yeah, I'm getting... I'm getting... Apparently my roommate left his phone here somewhere. He doesn't know where it is. Okay, we have been experiencing technical difficulties. All right, so we were talking about Daring Don't. All right, well, the, 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 it was a good episode, but it's just the one thing that was so terrible about it glares so far above everything where, where it turns out that Daring Do is real. I mean, I, I, I can't tell you how much 
I can relate to that story. Oh my God, Aaron! Yeah, <laughs> it's like you know, it's like it's like every time I have to tell you, like, oh, it's just a sit back, enjoy episode, not no, like relate no. to this episode. No, because because I can't tell you how much I can relate to the story of like going to meet Stan Lee, and then he turns out in actuality to be Spider Man. Gosh, all the times that that's happened, and how much I can relate to that. Jeez. <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> like I said, it's a sit back and no. enjoy episode. No, no, no. It it was like the. It, 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 you're not you're not really supposed to relate to it that on that kind of perspective. It was it was the first episode that literally made me want to flip a table. I I I was I was like sitting there and then like the. And then the author uh, Yearling walks in, and she's got like the, the cloak and the glasses on. It's like, oh god, they're not gonna do it, are they? You know. And then the bad guys are coming in, I'm, and I'm, I'm sitting there going, like, don't do it, don't do it, please God, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, off comes the cloak, and I'm like, you motherfuckers, <laughs> Aaron. It's, oh my god. The, look, but, but seriously, look, like, look, look. Just, just from that one part doesn't mean. It, that's that makes it a really bad episode. But okay, they part. put that in there because you know people, people, they thought people could enjoy it, and people did. It's, okay, it's not it's, that type of situation. Maybe you're not supposed to relate to, but like other things in the episode, like feeling bad because you messed up and you feel like you can't do anything about it, that you can relate to. There were good parts about the episode. There really were. Like like, like, like the part where like basically Twilight and Rainbow Dash are sitting there and having their little nerd rants against each other. That yeah. was awesome. And then there are other parts where they're like sitting watching everything happen through a window and they're like, oh, maybe we should do something. You know, it's like... Ugh. Because oh, I, I I still don't understand how that gets you. Because okay, it, it shouldn't. It does, and, and it's not only that, but it's basically they took they took an understood canon, and and, and like I, I I just can't help but get the feeling that the writers are suddenly like, hey man, what should we do that they would never expect? <laughs> I know, let's make Derek do real. <laughs> well, they never expect that. Yeah, the reason we'd never expect that is because that would be really stupid. But it wasn't. All right. Was, okay. I quite enjoyed this episode. All right. Okay. The ending was uh, pretty good. So. Eh. Anyways. All right. Anyway. Um, anyway. Flight to the Finish is it, the next episode. Next episode Flight is Flight finish. to the Finish. Like, hey, did you guys know Scootaloo can't fly? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I knew that since season one. Yeah, everybody the, knew the, that. And they're like, they're like, oh, let's address it, sort of. Finally. <laughs> sort of. You no, know, let's make you feel bad for Scootaloo again. Sort of. Cause, yeah. <laughs> Not enough sympathy for a Philly who doesn't have her cutie mark still, right? Anyway. Well, uh, I, I, the song though. Oh God, it's, the song. It's good. I we like got it. Got hearts as big as as strong as I don't know. We got hearts. As strong as horses, as horses, and we're something to wear, and we're something glory we can anyway. But like, but it's like, motivational. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it it was okay. Uh, uh, Flight to the Finish is a very good example of what I refer to as a baseline episode. Mm. In other words, it, it's good, but it's not fantastic. But it's not bad, and I I I, I have to, like, like like I can't find anything really wrong with the episode except that yes they addressed the fact that she can't fly but there's no explanation as to why she can't fly. Well, that's true, but maybe they'll explain more later. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but see, we kind of thought the same thing about the dark shadowy figure from the Castlemania episode. But, <laughs> eh, I guess not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, right. As far as Scootaloo episodes go, it's almost as good as it was in Pony of the Life. Oh, no, oh, yeah, no, no, no. It's a really good episode. I mean, it's, it's just like... You know, and, and, and like, admittedly, it's really funny because, like, Scootaloo at first was, like, my least favorite Cutie Mark Crusader. <gasps> now, now, let me explain why. Okay. Because Rainbow Dash is not my favorite of the main six. 
She's very yeah. much now. Now to say that Rainbow Dash is my least favorite of the main six, that's like saying that's like saying uh, Rocky Road is your least favorite l- flavor of ice cream. You still love it, but right. it's just not your favorite favorite. And Scootaloo yeah. kind of represented what it, the way that the characters were presented at first was. She was basically a younger version of Rainbow Dash, and it was like so like I was kind of like eh, it's not very interesting. But, like, they've actually done, like, a really good job of making the character, like, really interesting as the series progress. And you're like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, and, and and there's all these questions that are like, you know, it's like, does she have parents? Does she, the, the, does, you know, what's, what's the story behind her parents? Does she live in Cloudsdale? Does she, uh, Cloudsdale? Does she live in Ponyville? And one of the interesting things is, is that we actually get to see Scootaloo's room. Yeah, which is in Ponyville. Well, we 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 really don't know if it's actually in Ponyville. It might be like outside of Ponyville. Well, no. Well, at, at least at least we know that it's not in Cloudsdale, basically. Yes, that's that's the only thing we do right. know. Yeah. Yeah, it's on the ground. So. All right. But yeah. Yeah. Very very CMC episode that one. Yeah, but it was good though. It was like you know. It was more. It was more of a Scootaloo type episode. Yeah. They did the song all together. Anyway, yeah, well, yeah, well, no. <laughs> but it, it, yeah, okay. So, so next episode, Power uh, Ponies. Uh, Power Ponies. Son of a bitch. Woo. Son of a bitch. Yeah. You didn't like this episode. You didn't like it. I didn't like you. Spike episode, sort of. Yeah. But. They got cool powers and they got cool costumes. Yeah, okay, okay. this is this is. Uh, remember, you were saying that uh, "Daring Don't" was an episode you're supposed to just sit back and enjoy. Yes. Well, this to me feels like that. It yeah, was, pretty they're much. They're both they're both a sit back and enjoy episode. Well, yeah, I mean, but but see, especially to me because like I used to be when I was a kid, I was like massively into superheroes and stuff like that. So like you know, looking at like their their costumes and the designs and the way that the powers like relate to each different character, I thought was pretty badass. You know. Yeah. Totally. I mean, sure, the story, sure, the episode didn't have, like, any important plots or anything. It wasn't, like, particularly important to the story, you know. It wasn't, in fact, actually, I kind of thought the story about whole humdrum and everything was pretty freaking dumb, but eh. <laughs> there were cool costumes, there were cool scenes, it looked great, it was fun seeing the show try something different. And I'm going to sound a little weird, but I kind of like the episodes where the ponies dress up. Because it's uh, <laughs> it's adorable and stuff. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> and that. by that note, he's attracted by ponies. <laughs> Maniac, though, she was very very cool. I really like. Yeah, um, actually, I was uh, talking to someone like uh, like in the comments, uh, not not on this, but like on another video, um, how uh, Twilight was like uh, for some reason just a downgraded version of herself, basically. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I, I actually heard someone mention that, like, the character that she was uh, dressed as was actually a Pegasus that was trying to be an alicorn or something, and that the horn that uh, she had was, like, a mechanical horn. So it uh, made sense that it didn't quite work right for her because it was different or something. And, that is logical. And to me, I would really like to know what the backstory is behind the power ponies. You never see yeah. anyone bring it up. Like, like, like what do they look like when it's not the main six dressed as them? You know? Right. Yeah. I, I, I actually it would be really cool if the main six were actually dressing up like the, like guys, like, <laughs> like the actual power ponies are like male or stallions. stallions. Oh God. <laughs> that <laughs> would be interesting. I would actually be really hmm. interested to hear. Anyways. Um, yeah. Next episode. That's Everyone's wonderful. favorite, favorite episode. Uh, Bats. 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 Batman. The only bat. time I ever Flutter liked bat. Fluttershy's look was when she was bat. Well, what was the only time? Fluttershy was adorable when she was a vampire bat pony. I didn't yeah. really like it, but I'm I'm kind of a jerk, so, yeah. Yeah, liked, no, one, no one listened to Aaron. Yeah. I liked that they had a little bit of POV 
shot in there. That was cool. And the song yeah, had kinda... really good vocab. Yeah, so I was, I was actually like uh, searching up on like uh, uh, on a bunch of reviews on this episode, and like uh, mostly what I heard was like how uh, Twilight was kind of out of character, and I can, I can kind of see that. You know, she just like jumped right it? away to Applejack's side and didn't really yeah. hear both sides. Yeah, like, like, well, let's, well mm-hmm. it, it, it was funny because like the way the episode started out, it started out as like a as uh, as like an artistic representation of like the conservative versus the liberal side of things, and it, yeah. and I thought it would have been neat if they like continued on with that perspective where it was like you know where Applejack is concerned about like her her family and her livelihood and like. And like uh, Fluttershy is concerned about like the, the the care of the environment and the bats and everything like that. And it would have been neat if they did like over a barrel where there was like this uh, th- this contrast of, of personalities trying to get into it and like explain things. But then it was like they're like, no, we're just gonna make a weird goofy song about it and like everyone is gonna <laughs> stop the bats, stop the bats, stop the bats. Yeah, and, like honestly, the song was not terrible, but it was. It I, it was so different. It kind of didn't make a lot of sense. And then, like you said, the way everyone just kind of like instantly went to Applejack's side, it was like, oh, um, okay. Yeah. But either way, this episode was actually pretty good by my standards. I didn't like it. It was it, the, the part of my appraisal. Like, like this is probably one of the worst episodes of season four for me because it was all over the place. It it didn't really you know, like like it started out with one plot and then like went to another and then went to another and then it, it became. Uh, yeah. eh. I feel like when they were writing the script, they were like, "Okay, uh, bats, go." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, "Hey, what, okay, um, one of the main uh, yeah. used to be a vampire for some reason." Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, anyway. Anyways. Next. Next episode. The next okay, episode. Rarity is hikes Manhattan. Uh, this was this was one of the first episodes where I really started. AKA, the first key episode. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Definitely. Oh yeah, isn't it? So. Well, it it was interesting because like this was like one of the first episodes that I saw that like the reviewers kind of started going at each other's throats about. And it was like, because like one person would say like, oh, it's a great episode because it's a realistic representation of how someone who is under stress from having to run a business would actually treat her friends. And then um, the other people like, well, this is just an episode where Rarity's acting like a bitch. And other people would be like, well, this is just an episode where, where all her friends are jerks. And like, this is, an it's, it's like, what? But it, it, it's interesting where the writing gets to a certain point where you can literally start discussing on whether or not a character's reaction is that is appropriate because it's like basically yeah uh, basically yeah sure her friends were kind of a jerks and she was kind of a jerk to them but she's got a business she's trying to run and everything like that like i can't tell you how many times where it's like i've been at a convention and i literally want to stay and keep working on on uh, keep working on artwork for people and make and, and be making money and that unfortunately causes a kind of rift between my friends who came with me because they want to hang out with me and do stuff and it's like i'm sitting here trying to make a living and they're like Hey, let's all well, let's go to this panel. Let's do this and that and this and that. And I'm like, I can't. I'm actually trying to earn my rent money right now. You know? Yeah. And yeah, now everyone's so- gonna feel bad for Aaron because he said that. Are they? It was okay. No, was- I don't know. <laughs> but uh, the, the episode really takes my hand. I, I, I guess I could, you know, see your perspective from this side. Um. Yeah. But. Mm, what to say about this episode really you that did. already hasn't been said yeah. oh it's so obvious she's gonna steal the clothing <laughs> yeah well yeah it was, i guess it was pretty obvious that uh what's her face um was gonna Sorry. like steal her yes I, i'm just gonna call her bitch pony um was obviously gonna so steal boss. steal the clothing line otherwise there'd be no like oh no my generosity is <laughs> It's basically just the Coco Pommel episode, though. I mean, everybody loves that. The character. first time I saw this episode, uh, I literally like could not stop saying, "Like they just shoved the word generosity down our throat." Yeah. Two times. 
And yeah. when I hear it, it was a key episode, and like, and I, then like, I kind of understand, but it was still a little too much. Yeah. Well, I, not only that, but like uh, the the person who did the voice of Suri, I'm sorry, the whole time I wanted to punch her. Because like mm-hmm. you know she's like okay hi I'm a voice actor for Surrey and I'm doing such a good job I have such a wide vocal range and everything like that and I'm just doing such a great job in my voice acting I'm like why why would you do that Yeah I know yeah. what you mean uh, yeah. but, but they so, did finally get to see uh, any of the yeah. hills or whatever yeah. so. Happy ending. Let's see, uh, best part of the episode, Coco Papel, obviously. Coco Palmel, yeah, she's Coco adorable. Pa- everyone, everyone agrees, Coco Palmel is adorable. Yeah. All right. Next episode. We need to see more. Huh? Oh yeah, definitely. We need to see more. What? 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 That? 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 Sure. Like, that? Like half a second in the final episode didn't didn't do it for you? No. <laughs> <sighs> well, Jeez, so off demanding. For all the time. No, there needs to be a spinoff for all the ponies that they changed their lives for. Yeah. Somehow just meet up with each other. Yeah. That means Discord would have to be in that one. Well, I, unfortunately, I would probably want to punch the silver guy, whatever the hell his name was. Next episode! <laughs> silver Shill or whatever his name was. Right, yeah. Yeah. All right, so Pinky, Pinky, Pinky Apple Pry. Pie, Apple Pinky, Pie, Pinky Apple Pie, not Pinky Pry. That's not, that's not. Yeah, we're, we're not there. Oh, I got excited. Duck face. <laughs> we're not there yet. Um, yeah, the Pinky scary Apple cave. Pie, otherwise known as the Duck Face episode. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the thing that started the Duck Face trend in My Little Pony, for some reason. <laughs> I know. It's like what the fuck. It's like Pinky, <laughs> you're you're falling to sudden death. Stop taking Duck Face. <laughs> well, it, it, well, see, uh, that's one of the things about the about the. You can always tell when it's a fairly well written episode because people will start over examining whether or not the characters were properly portrayed or not. And th- this is a perfect example because, like, like Pinky's not afraid, so people are like, "Oh, well, like, is Pinky just fucking stupid or something, or is this just the writers not wanting to do things, or are they just trying to create jokes?" And it's like, it was, it's funny. Like, like she, she's not really afraid of dying, and she's funny. She would, you know. I think that's in character for her, really. Exactly. I mean, is is it? No, no, no. She's out of character. No, she would totally be afraid of dying. <laughs> no. Otherwise, like, you know. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, yeah, she was. She obviously, she's a nice little party pony. You know, not really afraid of anything, kind of, except of uh, demon babies. But um. <laughs> yeah. And uh, can you um, her for that? <laughs> What? Yeah. Can you blame her for that? No. Right. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a pretty good episode. You know, yeah. Probably, like, the part... I guess, I guess the, the only thing that's bothering everyone, like, oh, is she related? Is she not related? Oh, tacos. <laughs> well, no, I, I have to admit it was kind of annoying because this is the second episode where they address something and then kind of fizzle out with explaining what's going on. Actually, it's third the third? Oh, yeah. Castlevania? No, yeah, that was the first. What was the second? Fight to the Finish? Oh, yeah, derp. All right, yeah, so yeah, you're right. The third episode <laughs> where, they, uh, where they find something <laughs> and then don't explain it, which, yeah. is, which is very much like the first season of Lost, which is like an absolute example of terrible writing. Hmm. Ugh. And and Fluttershy's tooth at the end of bats because it's like yeah. oh no is she gonna be a, a bat pony again nope okay I guess it's the fourth thing they didn't explain yeah well, actually, no wait no they did explain that she's gonna still be a bat the, the, the thing in the end like we don't know but, if she can like in, deactivate or unactivate it but we know that it she never still comes has up in any scene. of the subsequent episodes I know isn't it great when they do that you're just like oh that makes perfect sense. Well, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of episodes that do a bad example of explaining things, mm. the next episode is Rainbow Falls. Mm. AKA uh, Rainbow Dash's key episode. AKA, AKA Derpy. <laughs> True. AKA Derpy episode. AKA, AKA the Wonder Bolts are a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> AKA the Griffin episode. AKA. There's just a lot of AKAs for this episode. Yeah. Right? Episode 3. It's like worst episode ever. Okay, this I have to admit, as far as I'm concerned, is probably one of the worst episodes of season four. 
I, I kind of liked it. Not, not, not the fact that it was Derpy was in it, but you know, it was Apple pretty Jack cool. Trying to get everyone to eat brown bitties, like why Applejack? Did <laughs> it, it, Apple in like in rarity, it? is it like designing dresses that are like what? Oh yeah, what the hell? Those was that? are not aerodynamic. <laughs> yeah, it's like, pretty. It's pretty much. Usually knows what she's doing, but not in that episode. Yeah, it's like pretty much like the entire rest of the character had like a had like an IQ drop of about fifty percent. <laughs> you know, they're like, "Hey guys, I'm gonna make some dresses, and I'm gonna make some apple betties, and then I'm gonna be a cheerleader, and it's gonna be so hilarious." <laughs> Although, although you kind of have to wonder if, like, the cheerleader of Twilight wearing the cheerleader outfit is a reference to Lollipop Chainsaw. Nope. I'm just saying. Oh, nope. yeah, Pony. Why, why would they ever reference that? Well, it's not like Tara Strong is in it or anything. No. Right. <laughs> she, totally, she totally doesn't want to F any zombies. <laughs> but first they have to take her out to dinner first. <laughs> Oh yeah, and it was. It seemed to have like 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 Flash Sentry's head on a on a, a handle or something. You know, like, yeah, that, that's yeah. terrible. All right, all right. And the next episode. Well, you want to talk next about how episode. the adults are idiots and oh, assholes? Uh, and just, uh-huh. just, yeah, that sums just it up that right there. That episode, and go on to Pinky Pride. Actually, after Rainbow oh. Falls, this three is a crap. <laughs> Three's a crap. Sorry, I, I kind of scrolled down a little too far. <laughs> well, it's it's just everybody it's wants. Also good. Everyone wants to talk about Pinky's Pride. No, no, I actually I, scroll, I actually good. did scroll down too far. Okay. So, okay. So three the is a crowd. a crowd. The Discord douchebag episode. The Discord episode. He's always sort of a jerk, but you know. Uh, well, I like the song and all the references. That yeah. was funny. Yeah. Like, we got Harry Potter ponies. Ugh. You're 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 a wizard, Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> it's all like, hey, let's have Discord in an episode. Should we really pay Flash attention? Flash Sentry made a cameo though. <laughs> <laughs> there. I know. Flash Steeler should not. Like, oh my god. Uh, you know, what? I'm just going ahead and dress this now. The last episode when Shush, Rifu Steeler. Shush, no. Let, we'll let, let, let's, let's wait till we get to the, you know, further on down the road. Right now we're talking about Theresa Crow. Yeah. I mm-hmm. have to, That's what good. is that smacking sound, by the way? Oh. Who's doing that? <laughs> Sorry, that was me smacking a Coke can. Why? Don't do it. Don't do it, Louie. Don't Leave do it. Leave that I knew poor it Coke can you. alone. What I'm not going to be able to trade this for five cents anymore. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, so three's a crowd. God damn it! <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Three's a crowd. I personally, I was not a huge fan of Discord's portrayal in this episode. I, I guess I can kind of agree with you, and also Pinkie Pie. So, you know, in the beginning, she got distracted by the balloons Ooh, or something. Balloons. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, that was. I'm gonna be distracted now. I, actually, bit. the the only really good thing to come out of this out of this episode was uh re, was Applejack's uh, response to Discord, where she just simply raised her eyebrow. <laughs> it, it was like seriously, the rest of the episode I don't care about, but that eyebrow, was fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and then yeah, it was pretty funny where he's like, "Does someone have a fainting couch I could faint on?" And everyone just kind of looks at Rarity. She's like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I liked the end part where they had to fight the giant plant tentacle monster in the. Yeah, which was even place. tentacles. <laughs> yeah, you think it was like some kind of crazy theme involving tentacles this season? <laughs> huh. What's up well, with that? <laughs> there's only been like two cameos of tentacles. Well, it's more than any other season, so it's a thing for me. <laughs> it's yeah, a thing for me. You add up all the tentacles in the first three seasons, and you don't get as many as in this season. So yeah. there are none tentacles in the other seasons. All That's right. what I'm talking about. All right. Okay, so we'll Cadence finally. Cadence was in it. Oh yeah, she was, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah she was. Makes... everyone's favorite <laughs> episode. <laughs> yeah, it's like I kind of forgot about Cadence. Oh hey, let's talk about the next episode. Weird Al Yankovic. 
Pinky's Breath. Right, aka the Weird Owl episode, aka the Pinkie Pie Key episode, aka every bunch of AKAs. AKA every Brony's favorite episode of the season so far. Clint Eastwood reference episode. It's like someone's Pinkie planning Pinkie. a party. <laughs> I'd better Wait, find it. Eastwood? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like like at the start where it's like you know he's all wearing like the cowboy hat and he's like so boneless. It seems there's someone else throwing a party around here. <laughs> That's a like, like, like the entire thing of him. Uh, the, that entire thing was like a reference to like I think it was like fistful of dollars or something like that. Yeah. And it was like a and then, and then like at the end where he's all like walking away and they're like I never caught that pony's name. <laughs> that that's also a, a reference to like cheese Western. Sandwich. Yeah, cheese sandwich, you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, no no. There there was always a reference that like the 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 main character would never give his name and like was just would just leave and then was someone as he's riding off into the sunset, someone would be like, "I never did get that get did get that gunslinger's name." Yeah. Yeah. But everything else about. Songs in this episode, man. Oh my god, the songs. <laughs> so good. Well, I all of them. I, 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 I mentioned once before that like this episode is often compared to uh uh fucking uh, the magical mystery cure. Because mm-hmm. because because of like the its content with songs and things like that. But to me, it just makes so much more sense in this episode. Yeah, it made sense in both episodes. I don't see why people hate it. Well, well, Pete, well, well, the magical mystery cure was like, hey, let's do a musical, okay? And, and like Pinky's Pride was like, hey, we're going to do an entire episode that's about the pony that sings all the time. So, hey, I have an <laughs> idea. Let's put a bunch of songs in it, and it yeah, it sense. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know you crazy musicians and you liking, you know, like, I like, <laughs> like the songs from that episode. It's pretty good. No. <laughs> I think you probably spoke Spanish for a little bit. I know, that was pretty cool. Or she's actually not not just speaking in Spanish, but like singing in Spanish. Singing. Yeah, yeah. You guys didn't even know what she said, did you? No, I looked it up. It was like a, a traditional, like, a, a Spanish uh, birthday song. It's basically like 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 the, the 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 Mexican equivalent of Happy Birthday. I know I'm Mexican. Well, oh yeah, I right. know that. It's like I'm amazed that you didn't catch it. You're all like I. Uh. I didn't <laughs> know what she was singing. I was just I just. It probably just, just wasn't that impressive to you because you're like ah I know this. I basically hear it every year. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, but you don't get like a gigantic cake dropped on you, so. Well, uh, <laughs> I obviously want that. <laughs> I want to be crushed by a giant pinata cake. I know I do. Yeah, and then like, uh, and then like, 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 like one of my favorite parts was like where the song is going on, and he's all like, do the boneless dance or whatever, and it like cuts to like a live action <laughs> shot of like someone oh tossing a rubber chicken around, and, yeah. then, like, and then like she's all like, take him it, gummy, and it's like an actual video of an alli- of a little baby alligator just kind of sitting there, like yep. I freaking like burst out laughing <laughs> at that. It's funny because it works it's for this episode. Yes. Yeah. I mean, and that's that's kind of the thing. It's like everything in this episode worked so well because they're both freaking hilarious, make no sense party ponies. Exactly. Yep. Yep. So like when you see that, you're like, (laughs) oh my god, that makes sense, but hilarious at the same time. I think, (laughs) and and like, there's no other character that could pull that off. I mean, could could you imagine if like Rainbow Dash was like, and now I'm going to join the cutter, the Wonderbolts, and then like it just cuts to like the scene of like some guy putting on sunglasses or something. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, everybody do the tank. Actually, that 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 would kind of be funny. (laughs) (laughs) They should just have like a scene where just live action all of their pets. (laughs) That would be hilarious. So like uh, freaking, let's see, where would they get? Where would they get one for Angel to act just as angry as Angel? <laughs> I don't know. Rabbits are pretty violent animals. <laughs> I've, I've raised a few of them. I, I know these things. 
I, I, I've had the cuts on my arms to prove it. Anyways, let's let's continue on to the next episode. Everyone's uh, everyone's favorite rarity episode. Ugh. Simple. Yeah. I love rolling in the mud. <laughs> I love being covered in mud. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, when, when when you freeze frame, I could just imagine that meme. I want to go to Disney World. I want to go to Disney World. Uh, so funny. Oh, this episode. Yeah. And, and it's interesting because, like, this is really the first episode where they address, like, racism. It's mm, like, because, yeah. like, because, like, the, the hipster unicorn is a city that's like, I admire Earth Ponies and their work ethic. It's, yeah. like, it's all like, oh. You're a dick. Yeah, because unicorns never work hard at anything. Well, you know, unicorns are higher class and, like, you know, very upstanding and intelligent folk. You know, they would never lower themselves to the... Lower themselves, yeah. (laughs) They would never lower themselves to the level of having to work in the dirt. (laughs) Sure they would. Yeah. Yeah. They would if they had to. So, like, 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 what did you guys think about like Rarity's portrayal this episode? Mm. They're all out of character. Applejack was out of character. Trader Hoof was out of character, and we don't even know him. <laughs> <laughs> Trader Hoof was out of character, even though this was the first episode he's ever been in. We really don't know what his character is like, but he was out of character anyway. <laughs> Everyone's out of character. Twilight was out of character. Rainbow Dash was out of character. Pinkie Pie was out of character. Fluttershy was out of character. That piece of dirt on that one scene was out of character. But Spike. Was great. Oh my god, Spike yeah. was like the Spike best person in this episode. Sure. <laughs> Wait, didn't he also do like the uh, eyebrow raise? Yeah, he did. It's like, like yeah. you don't know the feeling of someone that you like like someone else. And he's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of like looks at the cameras, like, really? Is this bitch serious? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. So. He, so uh, learned the lesson. So, uh, so this episode was pretty good, yeah. I, I, it, well, I, if it wasn't for uh, Tabitha St. Germain's like, vocal performance in this episode, <laughs> this would have seriously been like a really bad episode. It would have been like... What? Where, where, where she's like, trying to do that like really fake southern accent. Uh, and I mean, seriously, this, this is one thing I don't get is a southern okay. accent. A southern accent is actually pretty doggone easy to do. It ain't that hard. And I, she, think she, I think she might have been doing that on purpose. Uh, she was because, like, since Rarity is, really like, uh, Rarity is one of those high class ponies. And like <laughs> she her doing the southern accent would be terrible. But I, I think she might have done that on purpose. It yeah. will be more country than the entire <laughs> the entire Apple family put together. <laughs> She's tired at the end of that. I know it kind of sounded it kind of sounded <laughs> like a really weird like Davy Jones impression, you know, like <laughs> and it will be more country than the entire thing put together. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, next episode, Philly Vanilli. Okay, okay. I I, I, I want to say one thing that I feel I feel really bad about missing the, the, this joke. The the the, the title Philly Vanilli mm-hmm. is being a reference to Millie Vanilli, who is famous yeah. for lip syncing. Yeah. And I completely missed it until someone explained it to me. Oh really? I I kind of got it cause... I did not know that. That's from the nineties. And also, it? also to, to to actually to uh tell you guys, I actually skimmed the episode. I actually didn't like uh, watch it fully. <clears throat> really? Really? I, I skimmed it. Like I, I I I know some of the important parts, but you know. This, this, well... this from uh, from one of the musicians <laughs> of the group. What, what 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 the hell, man? I actually right. didn't know this was like a song thing. Like like literally like when when this episode came out, I'm like. I uh, should watch go, it. Like when but we're then, done with this, you need to go and watch it from start to finish. Or we will it's, kill you. It's a good episode, you know. Like, 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 no, no, I, like afterwards, like I heard the song. Like, yeah, the, the song was actually really good. I enjoyed the song. Yes, definitely. See, see, yeah. th- this one to me is kind of uh, what I refer to as another. You know, is is another good example of a baseline episode. Where it's like, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Because it's a Fluttershy episode. Well, I mean, the thing is, Fluttershy is an adorable character, so, like, they should be able to do more with her. 
And, and then it's yeah. like, they're like, hey, we'll make his... And, and actually, that's one of the things that so many people... Because we all know reviewers love to use the term out of character. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I remember, um, I actually did see like the ending when Pinkie Pie was being all live. <laughs> We're, we're, and, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, it, it's, it's like, actually, to, to, to be honest, she was in character. She's done this before. Oh, I know she has, and that's, uh, that's... So, like, like that's, uh, that, that's actually what's bothering me. Like, how people say, Biggie Pie was out of character. She made four of shot quad. <laughs> Anyways, um, well, yeah, I, I mean, I mean, the whole, the whole thing where she's like, wouldn't it be crazy if, like, everyone is staring at you and judging you and everything like that? And it's all, and you just see, like, poor Fluttershy, like, freaking out. And like, you're, but yeah, she's done this before. It's like, in the, uh, finale of the or or the the equestrian games episode from see it from season three where they're all looking for the games inspector and she's all like geez it's a good thing it's a good thing we we really shouldn't check you know the sauna because if she's there game over right it's all fucking over we're screwed (laughs) and it's like god damn pinky what the fuck Yeah, that's true. So, so, so I guess we've said everything we need to say about this episode. Let's talk about the Twilight Time! Yeah. Ow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Twilight Time. Twilight Time. Twilight Time. Twilight Time. Twilight Time. No, no, this, this is going to be our only review for this episode. Is Twilight Time. Twilight Time. Twilight Time. Twilight Time. It's not amazing because everything is going to be totally out of sync because we're doing this on Skype after. <laughs> <laughs> just just be amazed like with yeah. everything just on sync for some that, that would be pretty cool but i sincerely doubt that it will be twilight time all right so what happened this uh twilight time? this episode when it started it started out with sweetie bell using magic no nope. no nope, nope. sweetie bell using magic and i was like yes. best episode ever yeah and well, no, 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 no. It, it was actually funny another... because uh, because a friend of mine actually texted me before this episode came out. He actually texted me where he was saying it was so stupid that Scootaloo was portrayed as handicapped because she never flies. And he's like, well, I've never seen Sweetie Belle use magic. <laughs> <laughs> like, And then the first scene in this episode is Sweetie Belle using magic. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all like, yeah. what now? Huh? What? <laughs> I don't have much to say about this episode except um, right. Twilight's a messy eater. That one fat little filly, well, cult is just, I don't know, you know really like... scares me. <laughs> and, um. Where he's got like the foam coming out of his mouth and like. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Twilight's signature is just her filling up a giant piece of paper of purple. I guess. Like, like literally, like when when she when she hands back the the paper she signed, it's just the, the whole paper is just purple. Like huh. that's a great signature you got there. <laughs> well, I, I like now I, I I admit that like one of the I had a couple of problems with this episode. I mean, it, again, this is one of those baseline episodes. It's not good, uh. but it's not bad. It's like eh, and but it was. The things I had the problem with was like 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 at the end where Sweetie Belle almost like started uh, sounding like a radio DJ or something. She's all like, "Hey guys, now we're going to teach you all the things we learned during Twilight Time." All right, <laughs> and it's like, what? Yeah. It's oh, and also the time. many 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 nachos. <laughs> so many nachos. <laughs> just, just had had to go for to waste. Because Twilight had to be a douche and kick all the little fillies out before they could have a nice little treat. It's, it's like, hang on, hang on. Yeah. We, we have to have a moment of silence for the nachos. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now we're done. It ain't yes. easy being breezies. Uh, or Norwegian uh, or whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, and I thought exactly. Hey, what does it say about its cuteness level? <laughs> it is over 9,000. Not. It is under 9,000. Under 9,000? It is negative 9,000. <laughs> negative 9,000? Well, well, I remember. How is it possible? 
Well, no, it is actually interesting that like on our last podcast, uh, like 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 one of our guests mentioned that like the guy who does that voice is Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. How did you not know that? I knew I that don't, too. I don't know. I normally know these things about voice acting and stuff. And I'm like, somehow that like, whoosh, and I'm like, duh. <laughs> well, don't feel bad. Feel bad. All I can remember <laughs> from this episode is Fluttershy dressed like a bee. Does this, Does this bring back in images? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Is, wait, oh, wait. I think I switched my Skype picture. Oh, I was gonna make the Nicolas Cage. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. People aren't gonna <laughs> see the Skype picture this anyway. This is a podcast. I don't think they want to. This is audio. Audio. This is gonna be an audio podcast. <laughs> okay, so okay. Just, just for a split second, put pre-season. put Butter's Cage on there. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I yeah. did not like this episode in the slightest. No. In fact, so, I would say that this is easily the worst episode of the fourth season. This is probably one of the best yes. episodes in my top five for this. You like sack of shit. No, <laughs> uh, I, I like this episode. I, I honestly like this episode. Why? Because um, I, I, I like um, just in the beginning when Flourish is taking charge, because she would totally do something for, like that, you know, just, just to protect the little animals. Or uh-huh. creatures, or whatever they are. Well, she was in character. <laughs> she was in character, and like, and like, I, I just like how she, she just wouldn't give them up because you know, at, at the moment they, they pretended to be helpless, and you know, Fluttershy is pr- kind of pretty gullible, and like, would fall for that kind of thing. She is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. Admittedly, it was a good representation of Fluttershy. It's just everything else it's, about the it episode. Makes sense because it was her key episode. Yeah. It, like it, she, it, had to, she had to portray a different kind of kindness. Yeah, and I thought that was pretty cool. But... And and I mean, seriously, of all things to reference, of all other seasons that this show has had, season, uh, G- generation, generation three, three. really? <laughs> had to... Hey, I really like their interpretation of the breezies. No, no. It yeah. does look okay. Of course, of course you don't designers. know, like, uh, like the, um, like, oh, there's this little portal thing, and, like, oh, they carry the ball, and, like, what the balls, and, like, all that <laughs> crap. <laughs> well, yeah, because it brings up other questions, like, is it a portal to another dimension, or is it just, like, a hole in this magic mountain that somehow appears? We don't know, because they don't fucking explain it. Yeah, that's like, true. At the end, when the rainbow passes through them, we... That's also kind of confusing. Like, does exactly. the rainbow go back into the hole, or does it go through the mountain? Now, now another thing that bugs me when cartoons do them is the whole sped up higher pitch voice thing, <laughs> which is what they did for the Breezies. Yeah. And unfortunately, one of the things I love about My Little Ponies is that they all have that they're all basically renditions of actual voices. They're not that people, you know, getting their voices sped up to sound more cartoony. It is actually. And then what does this episode do? <laughs> all of a sudden, everyone's kind of talking like this because all of a sudden they're just slightly sped up and everything like that. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> well, I don't know. For the voice actor of Vegeta, I think I to do that. <laughs> uh, oh, no, uh, no, no, no. Uh, well, what, what would you do if, like, if, like, uh, Vegeta's voice just came out of that little breezy's mouth. I would have been laughing my <laughs> ass off. <It's> like, <laughs> Come on, you fucking breezies! What is your problem? Get moving! <laughs> I, it, honestly, it would be funny, I but it also wouldn't make sense. I am Sea Breeze, Lord of the Sea Breeze. That <laughs> 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 would have been hilarious. Yeah. Uh, of yeah. course, it would, but yeah. just still wouldn't make sense. Though it didn't make sense in the first place. It makes sense altogether. All right, so. I didn't like it. You did, so it's all good. Okay, yeah, we all have our points and things. Don't know why. Now, now, see, this is one of the interesting things about, like, the reviewing community I've seen. Is is so many times where someone will be like, well, if that person doesn't like that episode that I liked, that person's an idiot. (laughs) And it's like. Yeah, you're an idiot, Aaron. oh, Oh, okay. (laughs) <laughs> but no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, seriously, it, it, it's to me, it's way more fun to hear individual perspectives than rather to watch it and be like, "Well, I sure hope he agrees with me this time." <laughs> All right. So, anyways, let's get us to continue on to the helmet episode. Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Some no, no, we're not, uh, yeah. Some funny to watch over me. 
AKA the, the double hum on the episode. Yeah. Because oh, apparently Apple Blue is double Where retarded. Is the With sass. <laughs> I like I mean, this. You, you, you gotta sing that song with sass. <laughs> yeah. And then she will see my sister. Wait, wait, no, no time for a song. We're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I thought that was great. Okay. Yeah, um. Okay. Uh, this episode. Family portrayal. Episode. Uh, this episode was terrible. Oh. Well, you no, idiot. It? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I. Well, I, I you, you like it? Well, you're an idiot. I liked. <laughs> The yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I see, see, so many people. This is this is a perfect example of like people being like, oh, well, blankety blank was out of character, and like. No, I I don't I don't believe anyone was out of character. I actually quite enjoyed it. A I bit. too. And it's it well. It, it's the thing is like the reason uh, she was acting quote unquote out of character was because she was kind of freaking out about the situation, which makes sense. Are we talking about Applejack or Apple Bloom? Applejack. Hey, okay. Well, yeah, of course. She's like, she she has that little sisterly love type deal. Yeah, yeah. That most well, I, most uh, southern families kind of have. Well, it's not just that, but it's like seriously, really? like as far as she knew, this was like a, a first intense situation. So, in her mind, it was a little bit more intense than what was actually going on. So it makes sense that she kind of overreacts to it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Right, exactly. So it's like honestly, she's actually being in character for what people she, say. This is uh, an episode in which people can relate to, unlike Daring Don't. Sorry. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, like, I, I guess I can kind of relate to this, because, you know, kind of like leaving my sisters behind to live in the house alone for one night. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, they're going to blow up the house. <laughs> yeah, I think I think anyone with siblings really could relate to this episode. Yeah, and uh, I guess the part with the... With the um, Camara was actually kind of pretty stupid since you know they were kind of setting up to like uh, um have them both relate and like somehow become friends, but no, it's just like oh we have problems, but I'm gonna eat you. You have no idea what it's like having a sister. Be yeah, you're half expecting. Oh well, actually, I do. Really, we have so much in common. Let's chat. <laughs> <laughs> and then like Applejack swinging in, and yeah. you know, but see, of course. Oh, uh, that would have been a little bit terrible, it kind of. But they were setting it up for it to be like that, which was terrible. Well, it, mm. it, it's kind of neat because, yeah, they set it up, and then they're like, "Nope, not gonna do that." And you're like, "Okay, cool, I can relate to that." And then, of <laughs> course, and then of course, we need to discuss the one thing of Applejack in her boots. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, she looks good. That's, that's <laughs> terrible, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> And it is, of course, naturally one of the things that has spawned a lot of R34 artwork. Apple Jacks in her sexy boots. Mm. <laughs> Aaron, I don't know what website you're on. I I don't know. But, well, I I'm not I'm not that I'm not some crazy R34 porn peddling artist. What are you talking about? I'm not like those crazy furry artists. <laughs> not at all. Oh, that was nice. I have to finish this commission of everyone being tied up. But, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, anyway, uh, I guess have we said everything we need to say about this episode? Tony Louisiana was nice. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Next. <laughs> Modith Pius. Mod, Mod Pie. The episode rocks. to end rocks. all episodes. The rocks. episode about rocks. 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 I liked it. Because it was about rocks. <laughs> it was pretty good. It was a good Especially episode. Especially when uh, they kind of hinted that this sister was probably going to be showing up in Picky Pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it, no, 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 no. You have to talk in a monotone voice. This whole okay, movie. okay. Yeah. I actually liked the portrayal of Pinky uh, of a Mod Pie as kind of the contrast of Pinkie Pie. And not only that, but this episode had a lot of um, good body language in it that you don't normally see in a cartoon. All kinds of things were like they would hide their face in the hooves as they were trying to talk to Pinkie Pie about the negative aspects of Mod Pie and all kinds of things with like the little body language where you started to see Pinkie Pie get all upset and stuff like that. and You know... Yeah. <laughs> I, I really like the part um, when uh, they are uh, 
telling Pinkie Pie that they can't really be friends with Maud. And then, like, uh, Pinkie Pie's just about to go to Pink and Mina mode, but you can totally see her just holding back, trying not to yeah. be too yeah. upset. Like, 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 you literally, like, no, saw her, no, like, you can't, you can't talk teeth. like that. You can't talk like that. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Really good. But, um, right. And uh, the part you, um, when... Uh, when you literally uh, saw uh, her part, uh, teeth. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, another, actually, uh, just a, uh, a funny perspective of the episode uh, when Maude gives Boulder the sandwich <laughs> and he actually eats it. Well, they never show... Yeah. I mean... Shit, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> they never show him eating it, but the sandwich is put down by Boulder and in the next shot, the sandwich is gone. It's actually pretty creative if you think about it. Just like Mod's poetry. I like it's, rocks. It's not bad. They're about it's, rocks. Yeah. I have thousands. Although, although you, you, it's so prolific. <laughs> although you gotta wonder, why does someone like to read their own poetry? Yeah, that's a little narcissistic. <laughs> what are you talking about? I like to read my own poetry. Yeah, that's but. Cool. I mean, I mean, I, I, I've like, never like. It's not the only thing you read, though. I've never like sat down and read my own comics and been like, "Oh my God, this is genius." Well, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I think, I think, um, well, being alone, not being able to do anything else, writing your own material, and, and the only thing you can read, I guess yeah. you have to enjoy it. Yeah, that's a good point. We need to get Maud into the city, into the beatnik community. She would be a hit, <laughs> you know. Oh yeah. Okay, the next episode. For whom the Sweetie Belle toils. You Toil. son of a bitch, I was going to read that. Lol, I stole your line. <laughs> Anyways, this episode sucked. Nine out of Luna, ten. Luna oh! invades another CMC's dreams. I think I think it's pretty obviously that who's going to be the next dream episode of the CMC. Um, it's, it's Babseed, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's Babseed. Be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's obviously yeah. Babseed. <laughs> No, 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 mm-hmm. no. Silver Spoon is going to join in season five, and then it's going to be Silver Spoon. <laughs> well, this episode is really, I mean, it, okay, as, as as most people know, that Sweetie Belle is my favorite character. <clears throat> but anyway, um, like. I was going to give it like a 10 out of 10 review. Well, it, 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 it was interesting because like this this episode did this thing that I didn't like seeing, but it was like because of that, it made the character better. So it it, it 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 was one of those things where you present the character's flaw and, and and it makes them a better character. Even though I was actually this was like one of the first episodes where I started getting kind of awkward, kind of feeling awkward watching it, where sweetie where sweetie Belle was getting so genuinely pissed off, like well, like. It, it... <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess, see when she's getting pissed off, it makes sense because you know sisters get pissed off at each other for technically kind of doing the wrong thing even though rarely didn't um you know like i would get pissed off at my brother like for like uh well, for I... say um for doing like something wrong and i'd be going to my room and be like why do you do that <laughs> well i mean i mean like how many times do we get mad at our siblings for some for some ridiculous misunderstanding all the time right. yeah right. i mean it happens all the time so it's it's like a thing everyone can relate to yeah everyone yeah. who has siblings anyway <laughs> Mm-hmm. There are a couple, you know, there are a couple of fortunate uh, only children out there, so, you know. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. <laughs> I, I've heard it was also, that. Um, like, uh, uh, what's, uh, I can't remember who review I was watching. Like, uh, during the part where, uh, when uh, Sweetie Belle was all like, oh, that's not red, it's cinnamon. That's <laughs> not red, it's cherry. Mm-hmm. Like, like I was, uh, I was watching this review from someone. Like, it's like if we actually did see that part, we would feel more symphony, or I don't know, like uh, <laughs> sympathy f- 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 for Sweetie Belle, uh, if we just instead of hearing it. Well, I mean, yeah, but it's. It, I guess, but eh. I, I really liked that part just the way it is. Yes. Mm. Yeah, uh, you know, because like I said, even though it was something I didn't enjoy seeing, it, it was good that they put it in there. Because, yeah. because it, 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 like, addresses characters and makes them, you know, have, it addresses their flaws and things like that, and, you know. And, anyways, uh, anyways, the dream sequence for me was a little weird, actually. Yeah. 
got it. I greatly enjoyed it. Especially the part where they're going through the like the thing that Twilight went through with Princess Celestia. I'm like, oh, Sweetie Belle's becoming an alicorn. <laughs> that would be adorable. And also stupid. Yeah. Yes, it would be stupid. It, it would but be it would be stupid. adorable, Hasbro. Make it happen. Aww. <laughs> Congratulations, you just ruined the show. Oh. If Sweetie Bill becomes an alicorn, you ruin the show. Okay, well, no, I, I, there is a theory going around that ultimately the Cutie Mark Crusaders are going to be half of the next main six. <gasps> well, if they, if they uh, do get a... Maybe it's going to get a theory. Maybe, no, 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 hey, I, I, my, my theory for the CMC uh, would be them getting their own spinoff, you know, them going on their own yeah, little adventure. Something adventures. like that. Talk about and, and, and except, they, except just them, except just those three. And, well, and then, and then, if you look at it, mm-hmm. if if yeah. you look at it, the way that uh, the way that Luna was uh, uh, talking to Sweetie Belle this time was very similar to the way, and, and was was very similar to the way that Celestia was talking to Twilight. You know, and, and the, the the way that she like relates to the character, sweetie. Oh yeah, yeah. Like how she's like, oh, um, how like, oh, Luna, you don't understand how sisters. And she's all like, oh, sisters, I have one of those. She's <laughs> like, bitch, you have no idea. Yeah. It's like, like oh, you haven't been moon. trapped on the moon for a thousand years, you little whore. <laughs> it's like, it's like, honey, let me tell you something about having a sister. <laughs> <laughs> Luna's obviously black. <laughs> Whoa, that is racist, sir. Uh, it's like, oh, girl, know. you don't even know half the story. <laughs> oh God, we're all going to hell for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh... Um, yeah, I guess. And uh, oh, and this is the uh, the um, Rarity's family has been confirmed as marshmallows in this episode. Yep. <laughs> well, well, yeah, she's all starting to melt. It's like, oh, your marshmallow's showing. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Well, all right. You know, you know how it is. It, it, it's 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 just funny. It's not meant to be. Uh, okay, it, it's just funny. Okay. 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 Next. Well, next, next episode. Oh God, it's that. It's, right, it's, it's the Applejack it's leap of faith. Oh uh, yeah, the the least good Apple Family episode ever. Yeah, this episode. I, I like the return of the Flimflam brothers, but I would more prefer the Zombra returning back. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, or it's Iron Will. It, it, it's or kind of like anyone. it's kind of like they introduce a character that everyone likes and looks that. forward to, and then they're like, eh. Oh, they're they're doing the same thing again, except this time with a, a miracle tonic, like snake oil salesman, which of course li- is literally did. Well, so, yeah, which is like which is like exactly even, even more derivative. Yeah, and, yeah. Well, they basically on uh, when the, they first did appearance, their their sales thing was actually pretty good, you know. Yeah, it's just yeah. That, you know, they didn't portray it really good. You know, if they did, the Apple family would have probably agreed to their terms. You know. Yeah. We make we make cider. You guys provide the apples. If no, no, you don't want to do that. All right, well, we're gonna try to kick your ass, bitches. Like, like uh, it reminded me just... of the John Henry story. But you know, that's season two. We're talking about season four. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, but you know, I'm just explaining. Like, yeah, I don't, right. I don't know. I don't. All right, I, I have no idea how long this is so far. So let, 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 let's <laughs> let's okay. We all agree, leap of faith. Eh. Next yeah. episode. <laughs> Wait, we're not going to talk about... Okay, fine. The testing okay. one, two, okay, three. Okay, fine, fine. What was the thing you wanted to bring up? I, I, I thought we were actually going to talk about each episode, you know? Okay, you know? okay. We are. You guys you guys just kind of skip Leap of Faith. You know? <laughs> we got to talk about, like, what part sucked. You know, how did it suck? Not like, oh, it sucks. Next episode. All right, fine. The whole story of Granny Smith being a sky, being a diver. Like, what the fuck? Where did that come from? Right. Now, I, it is true that I could see, I could totally see somebody, uh, you know, having some crazy thing they did when they were kids. But it, it, it was like, it's, it's, okay, one of the things that bugged me was the swimming suit. <laughs> oh my god, you, but that's like an old granny swimming suit. Well, I know, but ponies are naked all the time anyway. <laughs> well, maybe maybe that was... Maybe she's just smart and she knows fur. Like, doesn't like... Like, you know... Yeah. 
And like she puts that on to swim faster. <laughs> that was not exactly aerodynamic. <laughs> aerodynamic? You mean hydrodynamic? Yes, hydrodynamic. Hydro. Oh, yeah. The yeah. the design was barely hydrodynamic, sir. And then uh But but at least, it's, at least it's more it's more hydrodynamic than her wearing nothing. I guess. Well, and, and then yes, Lyra as a judge was adorable. Yeah. Especially, actually, especially that, 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 actually, uh, that reminds me of a uh, little gif I saw. Instead of her uh, flipping around the the zero one, she just flips around the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, another thing that bugged me was they don't really say what it was that kept Granny Smith from swimming. Was it that her body hurt, or was it like something else that she was honestly afraid of something? Because, you know, is, is, is it is it like she had joint pain or something? Or is it like something else? We don't know because they didn't explain it. Good job. Like, like, uh, like maybe jumping into the cup uh, broke her hip. And like That's why they're always just saying, oh, Grady needs a new hip. Uh? And then like when she drinks the tonic, she's all like, hey, look, my hip's okay. Now I can go swimming. Yeah, but they don't. I, I I know they don't address it, but you know, for me, that's like just a little theory. That, that's kind of what I was thinking too. I mean, it's like you know, where 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 basically she drinks it and thinks she feels better, so like that she starts swimming. But it's it's kind of like energy drinks. Drink it, you'll jump higher, run faster, <laughs> talk louder, <laughs> talk louder. Okay. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and it's uh, to the next episode. Next um, episode is trade yet. Te- it's is testing, it? testing, one, two, three. Oh, you're right. Sorry, I, I scrolled too far that time. Testing. Oh, did you see my excuse? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I scrolled too far. All right, so it's so a testing, testing, one, two, three, aka the wrapping episode. Wonder bolts. Yeah. Wonder bolts. Yeah. Wonder bolts. <laughs> Anyways, um, this episode was actually pretty good. Pretty I good. Had a cute little was... pet play. I thought it was so too. cute in their little outfit. Yeah, I guess I really like um how like they're just embarking her with the different ways of learning and how they just go on to figure out her own way of learning was actually a pretty cool way uh, of doing that episode. Yeah, and, and how many times have yeah. you been trying to learn something and some and your friends just all bombard you with, hey, if you do this, it'll work. If you count to ten, if you do this, if you write it down, if you do that, if you do that. And it, it, it never does until you actually find what works for you. But yeah, my only problem with this episode, like overall, I fully agree, this was a very good episode. My only problem with it was the way Rainbow Dash learned. And it's mm-hmm. it, it's basically like she had no idea what was going on and just like was able to subconsciously learn. Uh, I, yeah, I, I guess I could see that, you know, uh, just, you know, just like, oh, you know, oh, I see that happen, you know, from this far away somehow. Yeah, and, and, and she didn't even. She's she got good eyes. Like, well, it wasn't that. It was just like, like she's seeing all this happen, and doesn't it doesn't register in her in her mind as, oh, how strange that all my friends are running around dressed like the Wonder Bolts. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, it's like not not once does it occur. Like, oh, Fluttershy is dressed up like Princess Celestia. Looks like she's taking up cosplay now. Oh, that, that <laughs> makes perfect sense, right? Yeah, well, look, look at everyone oh, all dressed no. like the... Well, she dressed like a bee. Shouting at me for some reason. What is this? <laughs> and then Fluttershy's... And that's the history of the Wonder Bolts. And it's like, oh, okay. And, like, and she doesn't she's question like, this she, at she all. Doesn't, she doesn't question the fireworks at all or anything. It's like, <laughs> oh, it's a pretty normal day at Ponyville. But, I mean, seriously, like, everything about the episode is so good. And that complaint is actually, a, it, it's kind of a small complaint overall. I mean, it's... it's yeah, yeah. It's, the episode is really good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean there's, there, there's, like, so much interaction in this episode, which was actually really good. Like, like the way that, like, Twilight is trying to be the teacher, but, like, Rainbow Dash is actually getting really pissed off. They kind of start getting into, like, a really big argument, you know? And it's like... Uh, yeah. And like how Fluttershy just comes in, you know, the nice little, hey, break it up, you know. We'll, Come on, we'll, guys, let's all be we'll, friends here. We'll figure it out a different way, and like how the and 
you know, they'll be like, oh, yeah, oh, fine then. Yeah, yeah. I, it was a good episode. Kind of a weird thing, but good episode. Yeah. Yeah. It was a pretty good episode. Okay, anyways. Huh. Uh, next episode uh, is uh, Trade. Trade, trade, trade yeah. Ya. Hey, Aaron, I'll trade you this laptop for your laptop. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll, 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 here, I'll throw in this muffin. Eh, okay. And oh, a sweetie no, belt. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. If you can get me, if you can get me like a like a really powerful RC car, I'll trade you. I'll trade you for that laptop. How about I just give you a sweetie belt plushie? <gasps> okay. <laughs> now, now you got to go find a sweetie belt plushie. Actually, I know someone who actually sells one of those. What? Ooh. They live here in Bend. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I saw her on the on the Central Oregon Bronies Facebooky thing. Anyways, we're giving out two information. Anyways, um... Yeah, anywho. <laughs> <laughs> anywho. Right, Trade, Trade, yeah. Trade, yeah. It was, uh, it was a pretty good episode. Uh, the, the... I guess the only story I liked on this episode was uh, the Twilight and Pinkie Pie part of this. The rest, uh, was okay. I don't know. Yeah, I, I... It was a good part. A double princess was cool. Pinkie Pie looks good in a mustache. <laughs> I, I have this like theory that like my, the ponies are like obsessed with facial hair for some reason. <laughs> it's like any time they get the opportunity to wear the mustache, they do it. <laughs> it's like I yeah. wear this mustache. <laughs> oh, I, I especially um, I was actually uh, watching this. I was reading this little comic uh, where uh, when Spike gets this new comic from the douchebag who somehow has all those comics. Yeah. Like, uh, I was actually reading this little comic uh, where it's like, oh, I finally got the new mint condition thing. And then, like, there's it, it switches to the part where the treehouse blows up. Like, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's a I horrible totally thought. Oh, no, you're right, though. That's totally yeah, probably what happened. <laughs> his, his comic is now blown up in the smithereens. Oh, no. Unless he had it in a safe or something, in which case. Yeah, I, I don't feel like yeah, he's going to have this. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Come on, I I can think positively here. But no, no that, that that comic book is blown up the smithereens. Oh. No, in this episode, I felt there was really good Rarity Applejack interaction. Yeah, well, I mean, seriously, well, I, I thought all really the bad. interaction was pretty good. Yeah, I I guess I kind of like the uh, how the fact like you know what I want to be the better friend. I've been a jerk to you all this time. <laughs> I want to be a good friend to you. And then, like, Rarity's all like, no, no. I've been a you. I want to be a good friend to you. Don't you dare out-friend me. Come on. <laughs> it's, like, it's like if me and Aaron, like, you know what? I want to draw your OC, and you know what? I, I'm, not, I'm going to charge you nothing for it because like, I'm the better friend. And, like, he's and, like, no, I'm going to draw your OC and charge you nothing. And, like, so, pff, I'm the better friend here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, it's, it, and and I mean seriously, like like even Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy, their interactions were actually pretty good, except for the whole yeah. potential slave labor thing that was kind of. <laughs> well, at least at least Dash caught her mistake real quick, you know. Yeah. That was, that was good. It, it would have been nice to see a bit more goings on. I mean, it's all like, it's it, it's all like, hey, you know, there's like all these other things going on here too, you know. They got yeah. They gotta have to like fit things into a twenty-two minute thing. Oh, which which brings up another interesting subject of um, stellar eclipse. Yeah, that guy. Or, he's cool. The guy right. with the with the with the steampunk wheelchair and the black and purple mane. It's not steampunk. Looking like an OC. Yeah, I, yeah. Like an OC. He is an OC. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that yeah. was the thing. Is it was like, like, like seriously, like I first saw him, I'm like, oh, geez, it looks like someone's kind of shitty OC design. Like, like yeah. no, literally, I, I thought that too. Like, I'm like, okay, this guy just looks like an OC. What the hell has, bro? And then like, then yeah. like I search it up and like, oh, this is actually an OC. It actually is some guy's OC. Wow, I feel like a douchebag. All right, <laughs> but I don't care. And then, and then like you find out like, yeah. like, like. It was actually some guy with like a, a horrible disease got on, and you're like, oh, I mean, actually, I, I, I do not care. Suspect. Well, good for you. Some of us actually have souls. I well, sorry, the voice acting for that character wasn't bad. Yeah. Well, it, it was. It was just the use of the colors and the steampunk wheelchair was my main problem. It's. It's. it's the, yeah. The, okay. the, my, my main problem was. Uh, <laughs> all at the pun. 
my, 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 but to be seriously, the problem I had with those two was actually the main with the weird purple and black hair color thing yeah, choices. Yeah. Like, good. like I like the wheelchair. I like. Uh, I, 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 I don't wanna... Wait, did he do the voice for his OC? I, I think so. I'd have to do some more research. I, th- uh, I'm I, pretty I, sure I, he did. It's in the oh, credits. Anyone who knows who's actually yeah, like a long watched ass this podcast thing. this far, please put it in the comments. Because you know. I remember someone saying that the that the I'm voice sure actor it. had uh, had it had the same disease, but I don't remember whether they said it was the same guy or not. I think it's the same guy. It could be. I could be completely wrong. I have no idea. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah. It's so. The next episode is Inspiration Manifestation. Hey, did it, I liked it. Yes, yeah. uh, I, 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 I liked it. Um, I can see how Rarity would just uh, kind of... Even if the thing didn't go, uh, like, control her, I could actually see Rarity um, just going crazy with, with the spell. WC yeah. Fields Pony. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's not wrong for my puppets, you stupid bitch. Nah. <laughs> and actually, that's the, that's actually one of the things that bothered me in this was I'm like, right. was he trying to sell it as a puppet theater thing? Okay. I'm like, there's so many other things you could sell this as. Well, I don't he know. does puppets. He does the puppet show. Yeah. I like, like, wrong that's, that's like, like <laughs> a weird Willy Wonka OC gets her. Well, no, yeah. It, well, yeah. I mean, well, okay. As a person who does things on a creative standpoint, there's been times where like people will come up to me and they'll be like, "I I love the way you drew this character, but the way that they're dressed is really bad." You know, like 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 a kid, a person who has that type of fighting style would not use that kind of sword or that kind of would not take that stance or you know something like that. And it's like. I'm thinking of it from like, hey, it would be pretty cool if I drew this, have, doing this and that. And they're like, well, from a functional standpoint, you, sir, are a fucking moron. <laughs> oh, yeah, but the thing is, was she trying to sell it as a puppet show? I thing? think she was. Yeah. She just wasn't. She was thinking from like, I'm going to make it's this thing look amazing. Stage. Yeah. yeah. She's new to, new to the art of stage design yeah. for puppets. So. And also, her it new one. Travel. And, and her new one also doesn't travel. Yeah, well. Yes, it does. Like, it like up, 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 the thing where you have to carry it, like, on your back, the wheels are on the opposite side, so it wouldn't really work. Well, you I don't have know. to use reverse physics, but you could make it work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a, so, so uh, have, you, have you guys read the, the My Little Pony comics? No. No. Yeah, some of them, not all of them. Uh, have you read the the Nightmare Rarity arc? Uh, just the one where they defeat everybody and she turns back to normal Rarity. Yeah. Well, I I kind of I kind of got that kind of a vibe from this episode, which is yeah. kind of cool. If you think it's cool. It. Yeah. Yeah. Remember in the previews when people were, saw Rarity with the green magic and we were like, oh, what is this? Is this somber? I what's don't understand on? what's going on. <laughs> like, I no, thought it was. It's a book. Uh, it would have been cool if it was Zomber Magic. But uh, actually, another thing that actually bothered me in the episode is when Spike swallowed the book. Yeah. That was I'm cool. Like, does he gain the powers? Does he just shit it out? Does it go back to his he original spot? He didn't read the words, so he doesn't get the powers. Well, you gotta okay. read them. Well, well, yeah, then, okay. And then what was it that was really powerful? Was it the book or was it the spell? Uh, it was the spell in the book, kind of like in those video like, games where you, you find a book like, like, and like the, the words that's come the, up off okay, pages. Okay. That, that, that's, the thing, that's the thing. So, the do you need the book or can you just do it again? Well, at the end, she didn't need the book, did she? Well, but yeah, then but the spell it's, was broken. Because, it's because she yeah. already had the spell on her. So yeah, this is how you know yeah. it was a good episode. So, so th- this is the yeah. type of thing where you just can't figure it out. Yeah, well, it, it's a little bit um, in indistinct, but yeah, yeah it just it just leaves too many questions actually. Yeah, I mean, well, it was it that, was it was good, but it, you know, 
I liked it. Rarity all the way. Okay, so uh, next episode... Equestria game. Now it's really sad because like we've already done reviews. Spiking the cloud stale. Um, with reviewing this, like just giving out a little bit more pointers. Okay, really. okay, okay. I don't know. Okay. Well, does anyone have anything more to say about this episode? Actually, I have a lot to say about it. About the Equestria games. I yeah. have a lot to say. They're griffins. Uh-huh. Okay, first of all. Yeah. yeah. Um, my Imagine friend, ac- my friend actually got upset. Uh, about it because of the unicorn force field magic inhibitor thing. He did uh, like that. That's a, no, that was he, actually he, a no. good thing about the episode because that that you know, Aaron yeah, explained this. It was cool, but you see, he got all put out because uh, it sort of demonstrated sort of a racism against unicorns. Well, he felt well. No, no, no. no. When when you think about it, like any time there is a, a potential of someone. To uh, to ha- gain an advantage with something, like 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 for instance, like like you know, if we were to look at the if we were to look at the uh, the, the events in the games, I'm sure that like for uh, strength based uh, events, there probably were people sometimes where they would say you know Earth ponies should not participate, or you know if there was like you know obviously like like jumping uh, ju- jumping skills, they would obviously say Pegasi shouldn't you know, partake in it, and like, you know... And, well, yeah, I mean, they do have specific games for so, the specific so basically, races, but... Like, uh, uh, so, so, uh, it's, blind. it's discrimination, though. Blind, blind, blind. Basically, why they did that is because, you know, if, oh, know. if, they, if they were to see their, uh, their team kind of losing, they would, like, seriously, you know, put a little spell on them to help them improve. So they did now, that. So they would not like you know. No, I, that's the fear, but that's automatically thinking that no, unicorn is no, good. No, no, no. W- w- when you, you think see? about security, uh-huh. security and and fear, especially these days in the real world, a lot of times if you're at an airport and you see some uh, a guy with dark skin wearing a turban, unfortunately. Yeah, they're going to react pretty negatively to this guy. He'll they'll yeah. he'll be going through and he'll be like, Oh thank you, I'm really looking forward to my flight. Wow, that was racist, I'm sorry. That's racist. <laughs> and, and and like they'll be like, Oh, um, I'm sorry, but you have been uh, randomly selected for a uh for a bag inspection, if you would please step to the side, sir. Yeah. You know? No, I know, I know it makes sense and everything, but I don't. And this just this guy just had a problem with it. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I I was yeah. basically saying the same stuff you guys were to him, and he chilled out. But yeah, yeah. Well, it it it, it was funny because like this is like an episode where like everyone started hating poor little poor old give and take, you know. Yeah. It was like he was like, okay, I'm just saying that you know this one thing about this episode was not good, and like, and and, and it's funny because like we basically did our review of this episode like right after it came out, uh-huh. so we I I, yeah. I I I we basically formed our opinions before we started hearing what everyone else was saying about it, and there's a good point where there's been this huge buildup. And we kind of forgot Black about payout. it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 all like it quest your games. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be amazing. Spike episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really like, what it felt like. Even with the icicle archery and the. This is spike it being a spike episode. It was actually a pretty good episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It was a good spike episode. But seriously, it was like yeah. Eh. Especially, uh, especially I like how, uh, like on our last on our review on it, how you brought up the uh, the time travel thing. Uh, <laughs> I, sorry, I love that. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you know how Twilight was all like, uh, Spike was like, uh, um, oh, it's not like you guys can turn back time. And Twilight was like, hmm. <laughs> then like Cadence just had to stop her in her trap. <laughs> She's like, whoa, 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 we can't do that. That would be bad. <laughs> Yeah. Remember what happened last time? <laughs> it's future Spike's problem. <laughs> and, like, uh, who was the one that, like, mentioned about, like, if they did that, it would just be, like, a loop thing? Um, is that Sheldon? Uh, yeah, Maybe. yeah. Yeah, Sheldon. Sheldon. That was the guy. Yeah. Shelly Shell. <laughs> shell Shell. Anyways, um, yeah. The, the ice cloud of death was neat. Yeah, it was neat, but... Uh, you... It was neat. It was just like an excuse. Like, hey, how can we make Spike look like the good guy again? All right. Woo, Spiky Cloud. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, spiky cloud. <laughs> oh, of spikes! So much spike. I see what you did there. <laughs> I wonder if I should bring back the one problem I had with this episode. Needed more CMC. <laughs> The, 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 the one problem I, I had with this episode, the one problem that I still cannot get out of my freaking head uh-huh. was already. Mr. Oh. The Dragon. <laughs> Mr. The Dragon. Mr. The Dragon. <laughs> Why? What kind of last thing is the dragon? Spike the Dragon. I know it, they call him Spike the Dragon, but you know, that, that, that would be calling dragon like um, someone like, yo... What's up, you know, Aaron the, the Awesome? And I was like, his last name isn't the Awesome. Like, we just call him that because, you know, it's a nice little cool thing to call him. Like, and then calling him Spike the Dragon, you know. Of course, I don't know how Sheldon brought a good point. Like, he's the only dragon. But, yeah. You know, right. Uh, but, you know, like, at least give him, like, a cool well, last name. Well, well, well like, like Dragon is a cool name. Well, well not, the not dragon. Mr. The Dragon. But well, well, would she like refer to like Twilight Sparkle as like Mrs. Sparkle? Yes, <laughs> like and also as um the flight to the finish as she referred to Rainbow Dash as uh, Mrs. Dash. Oh, you know? yeah. Basically every That's like nice. basically everyone's calling Rainbow Dash by her full name. Yeah. yeah. Rainbow Didn't Dash. Always call her Rainbow Dash though. That's yeah, yeah. Kind of but it's Dash, basically saying Dash-y. her last name is Dash. Well, I, I I always thought it was. I could get into like a whole discussion over My Little Ponies and last names, but we <laughs> yeah, it's, we would get we would tangent so far off onto that. All so, last okay. episodes of uh, Twilight's Kingdom Part One Slash Two. Part Twilight's Two. Kingdom. Otherwise known as the Dragon Ball Z episode. Oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, then we already do review one this too. Yes, we did. It was like literally the last one we made. I was no. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. blind. What, what did you think? Yeah, what did you think about this episode since you well, were there? I yeah. I thought the rainbow ponies look stupid. True. Uh, <laughs> I thought Discord was cool. Um, not always cool, but at the end he was cool and he was like uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but you know, Discord. That was, was such actually, a good scene. Know, kind of actually in character in the Shepherd show. Yeah. You know, the yeah. Part where you know the part where uh. Where, um, what's his name? Did, uh, Tarek. Tarek? Tarek. T- Tarek, yeah. Tarek. Tarek was, like, trying to get Discord on his side, but, you know, he's just overthinking it, like, oh, but what about Fluttershy's friendship? You know, she would, like, oh, be so mad at me. And, like, he was, like, just thinking that over. You know, he didn't go, like, straight away. You know, actually, yeah, sure, you know, I'll join you. I don't, I don't need to think about this. I'll join yeah. you. Ultimate yeah, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was very Discord. It was yeah, very yeah, good. no, no, you no. Know. There were, there, like, most of the episode was really good. There were just, like, a few small points here and there that kind of kind of wobbled a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, I liked that Princess Luna got to sing. Oh, that yeah. Nice. That, that song was, like, really the best, well, one of the best things. Uh, that, 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 that song, both of the songs that were in those two episodes were the, probably uh, one, a couple of the best songs that I've ever heard. Yeah, well, I just like, I, I mean, like, seriously, like, Nicole Oliver's singing voice, it's like, yeah. it's like gorgeous. And also, one of the problems I had during the song singing of the first one is that, uh, what was that, that I had the problem with? I don't um, know. Can, I'm trying to remember, actually. Um, shit, I don't remember, but I had a problem with the singing of the first, uh, first song, but the song itself was okay, actually. Okay. Well, you know, what's amazing to me is that, like, every time uh, the main six get together to do a big rainbow-type power blast to defeat a major enemy, like, every time the animators find a way to make it more awesome than the time before, you know? Yeah, well, I mean... It's more spectacular. Well, I mean, e- even the, even in Generation 1, there was a lot of trying to find uh, deus ex machinas to kind of end the stories... Because like, yeah. but like, like girls' cartoons are always harder to write than boys' cartoons. In a girls' cartoon, it's sure. really simple. I mean, I mean, in a boys' cartoon, it's really simple to end the the conflict because all you need is someone with a stronger weapon, or the, to power up or get some new form or something, and then kick the bad guy's ass. Heroes win. End of story. K 
cave, so slap a slap a logo on it, make some toys. There you go. When it comes to girls' cartoons, they would have to find non-violent ways to resolve things because it's commonly thought that girls don't like violent cartoons. So, right. so they would have like, like like in G one, there was a lot of like having to collect the rainbow of light, a lot of having to meet the guy to cast a spell and free things, a lot of having to get the flutter ponies to get rid of the smooths, a lot of having to, you know, it was a lot of trying to find X so that we don't actually have to get in, into a fist fight with somebody. Right, right. And and in this case, uh, more modern cartoons often seem to adopt the concept of laser beams are, are, are the ultimate end all, and as long as they're not actually physically throwing fists, it's all okay. Yeah, but I guess I guess I guess this episode was all like, you know, what, I'm gonna punch you, shoot laser at you, and then kill you with a laser beam. I'm a firing my laser. It was sort of Sailor Moony. Yeah, yeah, Sailor Moonish. Except they're not ending up naked and stuff. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, they're, they're always right. naked. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, well, what the hell am I thinking? Well, 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 well. To, to <laughs> a point of perspective, is a dog technically naked with all his fur? Or... Yes. Yeah. You know, he's wearing a little sweater. He's naked. You know, if you shave them. them, then you know, <laughs> would, would that off. technically be naked? What the fuck? <laughs> I think we're off topic here. All right. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not off topic. Are they naked? You would put the put sign that up as a topic. They don't normally <laughs> wear clothes. Yeah, right. they don't wear clothes. But in their universe, is clothes is not wearing clothes really naked? See, in their universe, the clothes are actually a life fiber that's created by an alien race that's trying to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm totally not referencing anything else to that I'm just saying. It's okay, okay. anyways. Uh, so, season four as a whole, what does everyone think? I, 6.5 out of 10. I gotta say, I was actually pretty impressed. Because, like, like, basically, this episode has done so many things where, like, you start to think, oh, it's going to be that kind of episode. And then it's like, no, it's not. I, I guess I really like this episode because they really brought back some uh, other aspects that happened in season, uh, in other past seasons, especially uh, during the, uh, in the ending season. Yeah, when yeah. they brought back the perspective of, like, when Severus left, that's when T-Rex actually made his escape. I know, that was kind of... So I'm like, hurt. I'm like, yeah. oh my god, so, so there was a point for Severus, for the random Severus. Yeah, and, and, and it's not only that, but it kind of brings up the point of, that actually means Tuesday was a disaster. <gasps> yeah, something that brings back the point, like, did happen. something bad happened during Tuesday, and like, you know, it's just something... Yeah. I'm like, fuck. She was right. <laughs> well, wow. well, she was her, but then again, it was future Twilight, so she can't really be saying she can't be saying she, but you know, but it was her, so she could say herself was right. But you know, it was future Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> and now, now <laughs> time travel. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> it's like time travel. What? Not even the Back to the Future series gets time travel right. Anyway. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, for, uh, for my score out of the season would be, you know what? A 9 out of 10. I, no, that's, not, that's not being jokingly. I gotta say, probably. It, 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 it had yeah. its faults, but, you know, it was... It was it was really good, you know. There were a couple of episodes where you know, they were pretty, actually pretty bad, but most of it was really good i was i i, I was i yeah. have to say i'm thoroughly impressed with the uh, you know season four so far as it, it was season four it's like because yeah. it was funny because like one of my theories was that if there's not going to be a villain at the start of season four it's going to suck and then they found a way to not have a villain but still be really impressive and then make season four yeah. really cool it's like oh they sort of had a villain in nightmare moon but yeah yeah. yeah. Wouldn't the villain technically be kind of Discord? Sort, sort of, of in, sort indirectly. Of the, yeah. He planted it. The villain but... was Rapevine, so eh. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh okay, at so, uh, I know. I know, I know, everyone. So We're I not making good... fake jokes here. Anyways, I think this is a good spot to end the episode. 
Yeah. Very punch. Really? Oh, very not enough, punch. Not enough Zakora in the episode, in the season. Oh, yeah, I guess... I guess, Which point? There's... Yeah, yeah. I guess seeing more Zakora would actually be pretty cool to see in some episodes. Yeah, it really, that, that is a good point. There really was not very much to Zakora this episode. Basically, <laughs> at the start, she had, you know, basically we just kind of see her with the crap beat out of her having to flee her house. And then yeah. that's kind of it. Except in the season uh, finale where she's just there to visit in, the, in the crowd. Yeah. 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 It's like, wow. Well, it's like, wait, and not be racist, guys. All right. Yeah. So, on the episode here, I think it's a pretty good time. Right. You guys got anything you want to plug or anything for the push stuff? Feel free to check out my channel, YouTube slash user slash Louis Games. Do that. Do what he said. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you... Also, don't forget to check out my awesome Tumblr. Um, badly drawn bronies. <laughs> oh, great. Dot now, I'm... Dot com. <laughs> now I'm going to have to put that in the description. Okay, that's cool. Do it, do it. <laughs> check out all of our stuff in the description below. So, uh, yeah, be sure to check out my my online galleries, my DeviantArt, my Tumblr, my all my usual. Everything stuff. will be in the description below. Yeah, yeah. S- sit on my Facebook, suck on my Twitter, right, no, whatever that guy Twitter, always says. Books, everything. You know, you know, just I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you hurt your mic doing all that. All right. All right, well, I'm going to catch everyone later, and uh, I hear the music going, and Donut out.